Hey, what's up, man? Uh, is your name really Freak? That's what you signed the private message you sent me with. But uh, in any event, I wanted to respond to um, your inquiry into ethics and the lack of foundation um, that uh, we seem to be forced to deal with whenever we talk about uh, morality in a, a postmodern context, I guess you could say. And I agree with you that we don't really need any foundations, that we can instead use what, what Rawls called the reflective equilibrium to consider um, as wide an array of cultural, moral stances that we can, and with the general notion of what fairness and justice um, amount to, and obviously, you know, the principle that, that you were talking about of equal human rights, uh, bearing that in mind, and using something along the lines of what Habermas calls um, rationality, not uppercase rationality, but the kind of rationality that comes out in the activity of discourse among educated people. We don't need to start from some sound foundations if we can um, communicate in this rational way. We can instead arrive at good moral principles just by openly discussing them. But keeping all this in mind, I think what we're kind of faced with today is more and more we're seeing that there's really a lack of any, any real line between human beings and the natural world. And a lot of the liberalism that came with the Enlightenment, which emphasized individualism, the right to pursue your own happiness, which pretty much ended up um, being the support for capitalism and, and then industrialization, these types of approaches to um, what the good in life is and how we ought to define people and societies uh, I think what ended up happening is that we destroyed the natural world, polluted the environment. We still live in largely unjust societies in the sense that there's a hierarchical class structure where a lot of people are extremely poor and very few people are extremely rich. And it's not a result of liberalism. There's lots of good things about liberalism. You know, the freedom of the individual is an important thing. Autonomy uh, and and the ability to think for yourself, these are, you know, great values. And I'm not trying to say that we need to somehow rein them in. Uh, or maybe I am saying we need to rein them in, but not get rid of them. Um, because from an ecological standpoint, from the standpoint of humanity's embeddedness on, on this planet and this planet's dynamics, there is a, a, a foundation for our sense of what's right and wrong. And it comes from nature itself. And instead of calling it justice, we just have to call it balance and equilibrium. I think we can found a morality on ecology. The sense of connectedness and organic relation to others, to our communities, um, that we see in, in the, the, the web of life metaphor usually used to describe nature. If we apply this to human societies, I think uh, a pretty legitimate moral system begins to become evident. And this may seem a bit like um, communitarianism, in the sense that I'm talking about the individual and the human race being embedded in in its environment and its surroundings, and it is. I think uh, liberalism has kind of become so exaggerated among certain sectors of uh, America especially that um, self-interest and self-gratification and uh, the glorification of individuality has reached such extremes that it's kind of, um, it's, it's defeating itself at this point and it's it's way out of balance and I think it needs to be corrected with a bit more of a communitarian approach because the community in the sense of the larger uh, community of life not necessarily of a human social structure but the community of life the ecosystem itself I think is more valuable than any single individual alone and in that sense we need to consider the community both human and natural in all of our 
moral and political decisions. I guess I'm trying to take a middle ground somewhere between liberalism and communitarianism by pointing out uh, the ecological necessities that we're faced with, you know, in the coming years. We really need to refocus our values uh, to better suit what we know scientifically about nature, about the planet and its dynamics. Uh, because when liberalism first began, and, and the capitalism and industrialization that came with it, we didn't un understand how this Gaian ecosystem functioned. We didn't understand how um, radically connected everything is. And we do now. And so I think our value systems need to, uh, need to respond to that and um, respond appropriately. And part of that appropriate response seems to me uh, to contradict some of the, the central tenets of liberalism. Um, or at least it, it's, it requires that we um, don't overdo the sense of individual rights. Certainly individuals have certain rights, but those rights must be constrained and restricted by the realities of ecological necessity. So, you know, I'm trying to put a new spin on this by bringing in the life sciences and, and ecology. But, um, let me know what you think. Take it easy, man.